Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Let us learn together from this Kyoten Words from Work, uh, Words for Work, number 86. You cannot build a big company if you are ignorant of international affairs. Words for Work, 86. You cannot build a big company if you are ignorant of international affairs. Thank you, Lord God. All right. Uh, thank you, Master Okawa, for giving us pointers and hints on how to improve our work skills. Um, I'm not sure if many of us uh, who are listening to this channel um, are trying to big a international conglomerate, big firm, a big company. So I don't know if this is going to apply to all. But uh, for me personally, when I contemplate on the sentence, uh, what I learned about is how to think as a person who works in a big uh, company. Uh, you must have, you shouldn't be ignorant of international affairs. So it's not only for CEOs, right? Uh, even if you're in a managing section, a manager's section, uh, it's important to not be, you know, ignorant of these things. You have to be well aware of it. So it's important to know the international politics, the international economy, and you have to keep on studying uh, these things, no matter how much you feel um, mm, either too lazy or you may feel that it doesn't really have to do anything with your occupation. Uh, if you work in a big company or if you work in a global company, more, uh, more so, it's important to uh, study these things. And I was thinking, why? Um, I guess it's because uh, if you don't know international affairs and if you're working in a managerial section or if you're the CEO, more, um, what, what happens is that, uh, you know, how there's a term country risk. There are country risks and you have to be able to understand what's happening in that country that, you know, um, let's say that you have a company who's making, like you're getting your resources from or you're shipping out your uh, services and your commodities and what you sell, um, these products, if you're selling it to a certain country, if that country's politics uh, changes and if the regulations change and if the laws change, uh, it's obviously going to affect your company. So you have to keep an eye out on those sort of international affairs. Uh, that's one very simple example. Another thing uh, that I was imagining or um, kind of like contemplating from this is since I live in New York, it's such a diverse city. Uh, you work with um, very diverse types of people, uh, different ethnicities, uh, different religious backgrounds, different academic backgrounds, and cultural backgrounds. Uh, traditions may be different. So when you like it, not only you work with, but your customers can be like that too. So when that, when that happens, I, I wouldn't say it's international affairs, but if you're not like, um, you know, if you don't have the understanding of other cultures, uh, it does kind of affect your uh, work capabilities. So uh, those were the thoughts that were crossing my mind. Uh, thank you for listening in. If you have any thoughts, please leave it in the comments section and let's keep on learning master's teachings. Uh, to close it off, let me read it again. You cannot build a big company if you are ignorant of international affairs. Thank you very much.